Hey everybody, Nathan over at Pro Acoustics, broadcasting from Infocom 2019. Over here at the Community Loudspeakers booth with John from the uh, Technical Applications Group. Uh, John, tell me, what do we have here? What are we looking at? We're introducing the LVH, large venue horn, this year. This is something we'll roll out in the next six months or so, in quarter three and four. Uh, the basic layout of this product is that it's basically delivering line array type performance inside of a point source container, a point source cab. So the construction of this is much the way you would build an arrayable horn-loaded system. It is a horn-loaded system. But internally what we're doing is trying to give you the adaptive polar patterns that you can get from a line array system. Also, so when the line array system is adjust individual elements mechanically and aim them. In this case, we adjust things inside the cabin. So you might want to get a little closer so you can take a close up of what's going on inside. This is just one side of the array. All right. The real magic happens in the yellow section in the back. These are called M200 mid-range compression drivers. This is a staple piece for community. We've had oh, this well, yeah. in the catalog since about 97 or 99, right? Very low distortion mid-range compression driver. And then a group of uh, low distortion, high frequency drivers that are non-metallic, ring re which means that they keep a very clean waveform, very smooth sound. Those are all mated, and there's another mid-range, I'm sorry, on the other side, you can't see from this side. Those are all mated to what we're calling a co-linear manifold. So inside are ducts to pull all of that energy together into one coherent waveform that exits the, the slot at the end of the yellow manifold and enter the horn. A little hard to see on this side, on this one, because we have a grill on it. Yeah, see what's right. happening inside the horn. There are four woofers, two on this side, two on the other side that are made it to the exit of the manifold. And so that gives us three bands, high, mid, and low. So you have optimization throughout the frequency range, voice for music. And we have a system that basically automatically aligns in terms of the waveforms when it exits the loudspeaker. Because we have multiple drivers, we can drive them individually with amplifier channels and signal processors to manage our camera shading. Yeah, like amplitude shading, exactly. Uh, horizontally, the horn has a fixed angle of 90 or 60 degrees. But vertically, we can have whatever we want out to about 60 degrees. So we can narrow it as much as 20 or out to 60 in a single horn, symmetrically. But we can also make it asymmetrical, which means we can have a pattern that emphasizes a longer reaching pattern at the top and shorter at the bottom. Which makes sense because that fits a lot of seating areas that move slow for taper or something. To drive all that, we have a piece of software called the Venue Polar Software. It's a plug-in that goes into Ease Focus. It's an AFMG modeling product, right? And we're using that now already, even though we haven't rolled it out. We've been using it at the factory. And what we do is we analyze the seating area, we develop a target polar pattern for the speaker. What shape should the output be? match that audience here. Awesome. So i got to ask, what's something like this going to weigh? The indoor unit is 250 pounds, about 250 even. The outdoor version looks just like this. It's done in polyglass, like the rest of the i-series is done in polyglass. It's going to weigh a wee bit less, not a whole lot. Most of the weight is in this horn structure. So individual cabinet deployments, very simple, the basic yoke bracket, easy to send down. We actually have handles for it to plug into the rigging points. Awesome. Makes that simple. Uh, there is a bracket system for suspending on a glide point array, like the IV6, uh, that moves back and forth across the top, and plates from the side to join multiple cabinets to create a larger system. So you can have, an, this is an array and a horn, in that case then you have horns in an array. Awesome. Awesome. Very compact, extremely high output. This does 136 dB in a meter. Awesome. And That's they're very, very subtle at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Awesome. Really exciting fun. stuff. Thanks for taking a second to talk to us. Absolutely. Exciting stuff coming from community later on in the year, guys. And uh, thanks. We'll be back.